She had some crazy flashy red hair and she was in uh, Creep Show at the time and she also had her solo project and for me it was witnessing this amazing woman that was doing this acoustic project. She was like a rock and roll shredder on stage and it was just phenomenal. Tonight, Whoa. three people can shower at the same time. Come shower here. And look, you can all pee too because it's a trough. And go to the bathroom, right here, while we're showering. It's fun. Especially when you're on tour with just a whack load of dudes. Life is probably a little bit different, being the only female in the band. I don't know, there's just something about Sarah that doesn't make you think that there's a girl around and you don't have to really worry about anything you're saying. She's not judging you and thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that because there's a girl in the room. It's never, it's never been like that since the day I met her. So she's just a pleasure to be with all the time. Sarah has this amazing positivity that is actually very, very infectious to the rest of the crew, the touring crew and the band. I mean, when there's people around you that are that awesome and happy all the time, it's kind of hard to be uh, a grumpy bastard. I'm usually the only girl on tour with the band, but slowly and progressively over the last like year and a half, I've been pulling more and more girls into, into the mix. Most of the time I don't even notice because I just feel like one of the dudes a lot of the time. Yeah, Sarah has classically been kind of the, uh, the mother on the road, the feminine influence. It's good, you need that. You need that, that maternal vibe. Oh man, I forgot Q-tips. Do you want one? Oh, can I get a couple off? Yeah. But now she's got the kids. She's a mother for real now. So she's doing the double. She's working double duty now. She's still, I think she'll always have that with, with all of us, all the dudes that are on the road. But now she's got uh, two little priorities keeping her pretty busy. So, you know. I think especially once I started having kids, I really took on the, the mom role. I like it. I like taking care of people. I like being caring and I like making sure everyone's okay and and, you know, doing the right thing. I mean, having kids on the road is obviously a struggle because the road in itself is is a very tough place. But at the same time, you know, we get to be with our family the whole time. I know some of the other guys have to leave their family for weeks at a time. So that must be tough. So knowing that I get to see these little guys every day um, is worth the extra work for sure. To be a mother and then at the same time be a rock star or whatever you want to call it, they're two completely different worlds. So you really have to change gears in life and you got to be there for your kids, you gotta be up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. or whatever time it is and you're there for them all the time. And then you still have to go on a rock and roll mode. I've never um, been a part of anything like this before to have somebody so talented in the music world and then also just an incredible mother. You're doing, Mama! <laughs> <laughs> you're doing, yeah. Traveling with them and being in all different parts of the world is something a little non-conservative, I guess. It's different than a lot of other people, and uh, it's really exciting and really interesting, and I hope that through all the videos and photographs that we've gotten and all the documentation of all the tours that we've done with them, that they will look back and, and remember some moments from, from these tours and the things that we've done, because they're still really young and they might not remember it all. I'll have to show them their passports when they're like 15 and be like, I took you here. <laughs> I hope that what they get out of coming with us and living this whole adventure with us and this whole journey is that they get to really appreciate the world and, and where we're at and our family and our life and the people that are around us and like just the love that's around us. I just want them to know that they're a big part of that. Where are we? Six Strasbourg. Six Strasbourg. Oh. <laughs> and what's happening? And we're the show! Yay! It's Strasbourg! We're the show! It's Strasbourg! We're the show! Alright. <laughs> She's so small in that band of guys, but she has such a big presence. It's amazing. Yeah. So, my tattoo is a Day of the Dead portrait, and he actually suggested doing Sarah because she's so beautiful and she's just iconic, right? And she's a great role model for women. And she found out about it and invited us to a show a few months ago and we got to meet her. And that's how we're here again today. Well, she's just so positive and she's just her own self. She she is 100% Sarah. There is no question about that. And she is all about being yourself and being, you know, who you are and just being a uh, presence in the band. And it's inspiring to be on the road with somebody like that and to be in a group with someone like that, you know, keeps keeps a fire lit under me for sure. I mean, 
I'm inspired by Sarah every day. I get to work with my best friend and uh, you know one of the most talented people I know. So I think I'm really lucky to have found basically my soulmate. So for lack of a better term, and uh, I mean, that is probably the best term. All the things she's done so far in her life, I think it's the most any female musician would ever want. Or any musician at all. One of my favorite things about her is her sense of humor. Um, she's got me beat. She's more witty than me. She's funny as hell. She always has the right thing to say at the right time to uh, bust somebody's balls. And I like that about her a lot. I'm doing what I think I should be doing in life, and I'm doing what I feel is right, and I'm doing what I love to do, and I'm making a family in the meantime, and I'm trying as hard as I can to just make this journey as amazing as possible for everyone. I feel pretty like a normal mom just raising her kids, and we're doing it in different places all over the world. So I think there's challenges no matter where you are or what you do. Don't let anyone tell you that something is not possible. Because yes, there will be obstacles and yes, things will get hard and everything that you might have in your mind might not be completely 100% possible, but there's always, always doors and windows to making whatever dreams you might have some kind of a reality. Don't let people tell you that that's not true and just go for what you want and do what you love and surround yourself with people that are going to inspire you to continue to do those things. Just be yourself. We just want you guys to know if you have a dream, go out and go for it. You gotta lead the way. You gotta do what you love. Because when you do what you love, what you do will love you back. Thank you so much.